Roger mentioned that we're in an amazing building, and, and some of you might wonder how it is possible that a city with less than 100,000 inhabitants has such a marvelous theater, uh, it's such a big theater. Um, the answer to that question lies 700 meters beneath your seats. That is where this region was created, in our coal mines. At the turn of the 20th century, this city had approximately 6,500 inhabitants. 50 years later, more than 100,000. People flocked to this place because this was a place to be, because it was, there were a lot of jobs at a time when many people were unemployed. There was a combination of manual labor, very dangerous manual labor, but also high tech. Many, many inventions were made here that are still applied in coal mining and other mining industries worldwide. So what has always fascinated me about this region is the fact that my grandfathers, both of them, worked exactly 700 meters beneath our feet and worked and toiled and slaved because it was really tough, tough work. But they also knew that with every bit of coal they brought to us, they created a more prosperous society and more opportunity for their children and grandchildren. And I would not be standing here, I would not have had the opportunity to do what I did all my life. I would not be now, which is something I'm honestly very proud of, professor at the University of Utrecht, if my grandfathers had not done what they did to give us this enormous start in life. I need to mention this because somehow we've forgotten our history. You see it specifically in this city. This theater is historic for a speech in 1965, December 1965, when it was announced that the coal mines would close. And very rapidly, all the mines were closed. And instead of cherishing the um, beautiful legacy of what was done here, we decided to cover it up, quite literally, but also to cover it up in our minds. And one of the most difficult things in this region is that we've lost our bearings because we don't know where we're coming from. And a person doesn't know where he's coming from, doesn't know where he's going. You're locked in the here and now, in the present. And I always remember my grandfathers, how they they, they were afraid. Fear was a daily business for them. It was dangerous work. I lost an uncle down there who was killed in the mine. But what drove them was the idea that they were making a better world. In the words of uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, the, 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 the American poet, when it is darkest, men see the stars. At our time and age, it is so bright we are so rich, we're so prosperous, we're always in the sun that we've forgotten to see the stars. And I know that TEDx helps you rediscover the stars because people today here will talk with passion about what drives them, about their vision of the future, and thus invite you to look at the world through their eyes which is the best means to understand who you are and to discover where you want to go. I wish you a great, great day. Thank you very much.